Welcome to the next edition of our Foundation Speaker Series. My name is Elizabeth Rosales, and today I'm very excited to spend some time with Mr. Jeremy Chobot. Jeremy is currently the research engineer for Universal Display Corporation, home of energy efficient phosphorescent OLED technology, or organic light emitting diodes. Their proprietary technologies and materials can be found in virtually every commercial OLED product in the world, from smartwatches and tablets to smartphones and TVs. Welcome, Jeremy. Hey, thanks, Liz. Thanks, thanks for having me. This is great. Yeah, no problem. It's great to have you. Um, now, let's just start with uh, what exactly is your role as a research engineer for UDC, or, or what might an average day look like for you? So the title might be a little... Uh, a little misleading. I mean, really what I do is I work in, in quality control group. Um, and, and what I'm specifically in charge of is material qualification and approval. So you mentioned in, in your little introduction there um, that our materials are found in, in OLED devices, not only our technology. Uh, so we work with our manufacturing partner at PPG uh, to manufacture material. And, it, and it's my responsibility to uh, make sure that we review any material before it goes out the door. That's high level what I do. Um, what an average day would look like, uh, a lot of reviewing that data. So we have teams of people who perform various tests on, on our material from uh, purity to performance um, to thermal stability. Uh, and, and I basically have to on one end, make sure that that material is getting to those people so they can perform those tests. And then on the other end, receiving the results from them uh, and making sure we have conforming, uh, conforming material uh, that we can ultimately sell and make money. Oh, wow. What would you say is probably one of your favorite parts of your job? Um, I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily a part of my job, but definitely the autonomy and the, uh, the, the kind of the freedom of it. It's very, um, you know, it's not like a, like a high school kind of school day where it's, you know, regimented sections of the day or whatever. Um, it's really, hey, I, I have these responsibilities and it's up to me to, to fulfill them. Whether that, that means, you know, two Fridays from now I'm going to get this done or, you know, I have to, or I have to do it in the next half hour. It, it's really, it's somewhat at my discretion, but uh, if I mess up some timeline, it can, it can really backfire. <laughs> <laughs> right. But it's nice to have that flexibility, right? Uh, you yeah, know, it's, you're it's not phenomenal. always on a, on a time crunch there. So that's, that's nice. Um, was this a, a role or a career choice that you knew you wanted to get into when you were in school? Or how did you find yourself in the current position you're in now? Well, quite, quite frankly, I barely knew what an OLED was before, before starting at, at UD. Um, and, and did I know that this was the path I wanted to do while I was in school? Uh, ab absolutely not. Um, quite frankly, when I was in high school, um, I, didn't, I didn't have a clue uh, what, what I wanted to do. Even, even going into my undergraduate, I barely knew what I wanted to do. Uh, wanted to make money. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, so the short answer is no. Um, this is not what I expected. I, I kind of just landed into it. Um, it was it was actually a uh, another person I went to school with had uh, basically landed an opportunity at at UDC, and uh, a couple months later reached out and said, hey, you still, uh, you still looking for something? There, there's another position here. Um, you know, you know it's, it's, all about, it's all about who you know and, and the, the relationships you build along the way. Right, right, exactly. Because sometimes you don't know what's out there until you network with people and find out, oh, you know what, maybe this is something that I, I want to pursue. So um, I think networking is probably very important to figure out Absolutely. You know, what's out there. Um, so I believe that you actually had started out with a degree in physics and mathematics, but then, you know, after a series of you know, the job changes, you ended up going back to school to get your master's degree in data science. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about why you decided to get your master's after you already got the job and, and how has that degree helped you in your current role? 
Yeah. So, you know, like, like I said, I had no idea what I was, what I was doing high school going into my undergraduate. Um, I was good at physics and mathematics. So I, I went with it, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, everyone I meet says, uh, Oh man, you must be smart. Physics, mathematics. Well, uh, <laughs> directly marketable skills can 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 become challenging um, and and but what I really but ultimately and that's that's kind of what led to the data science was um, going you know kind of moving up the ladder at UDC um, like you said going through some different positions um, and really I was looking around at at the the field and trying to figure out okay what what is going to propel me in this career that I've, I'm kind of starting to fletch out, to, out for myself, um, and kind of stumbled upon this this thing called data science. Uh, I did an online program, uh, which uh, now in this new quarantine world seem mm -hmm. is probably much more of a normal thing than it was right. two years ago. Mm -hmm. But it, it really it really boiled down to what skills was was I looking for, um, and and how do I acquire them? Um, and then through through the act of going through the program, I was ultimately able to apply some of the skills that I use, that I that I gained in my master's degree uh, to to better my um, my use those skills in my day to day at UDC. So it's not necessarily that, you know, you, you needed that degree, but you found that it was helpful, right, in, in your job. So um, even though you already had a job, it's still good to, to continue on your education because that helps give you um, some ideas and ways to help improve your own job and, and make things a little easier for you. So um, kind of goes along the line with continuing your education, you know, just because you graduate may not necessarily mean you're done with learning, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and technically I mean I've never actually put on a resume or anything that I have a master's degree and or you know because it, I it was an internal move mm -hmm. not even an internal move it's it was just expanding my role and and how I could function within within the group I was already in uh, mm -hmm. more what I learned than any piece of paper or or title right now what would you say maybe is um, maybe a career mistake or or some some lesson that you've learned um, in some of your transitions um, yeah definitely uh, so at one at one point along the line while I was at UDC um, had a, a we'll say a disagreement with us with some co-workers uh, <laughs> And um, the, to, to, make a, to make a long story short, um, you, you really sometimes have to either check your ego or check your emotions. Um, they, they, can really, they can really do harm uh, because, and we, I mean, we already talked about it a little bit, but it's all about, the, it, it's all about relationships um, and, and not only the relationship, you know, just uh, your relationship with your coworkers, um, but you know, are, how you're able to, how you're able to work with them. Um, and if you, uh, let's just, let's just say if, if you are disagreeing with a coworker, uh, whether or not you are correct, it may not, uh, how you portray yourself may or may not be beneficial to you. Right. Right. Um, and, yeah. and sometimes, you know, I personally, you know, you, you may go into a situation and you know you're right, but the way you handle it can sometimes affect, you know, the outcome. So how you interact with others is very important. Mm -hmm. um, now, we've known each other for many years as you are a graduate of our summer program, Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week, and also later came back and joined us on staff as one of our resident hall advisors for many years. Um, so as you all know, one of the key aspects to any student's PFUW journey is the mentorship that they receive from our adult advisors. Now, in your own personal life, how have mentors helped you along the way and achieve your goals and successes? The same, we're, we're just building on the same theme. It's all about relationships and, uh, and, and that, that includes mentorships, absolutely. 
Uh, one of the biggest mentors of my life was one of was my uh, one of my physics professors through my undergraduate program. Um, I, I still I still keep in touch I still keep in touch with him even though I've graduated a number of years ago now. Um, but he he often pushes that idea of you know always always try to continue learning. Uh, of course, he's a professor. That's it's kind of this this thing, right? To some extent. Um, <laughs> You know, he's pushed me to kind of think about, well, where, you know, where do you want to see yourself in five years? Where, and not only in your life, um, but, uh, you know, in your career, in, in what you've learned, what you're doing. Um, and what, you know, over the years, that's been anything from, um, well, I wanted to get married. I checked, you know, checked that box in, in 2019. I wanted to move closer to work. I just checked that box in 2020. Um, and I wanted to get my master's degree. Um, but you, you know, you, you might not necessarily know what your goals are uh, unless you talk, talk through them with someone. Um, and that, and that can be really important. Um, and I mean, as far as, as far as successes go, um, I, I would like to believe that I have a moderately successful career so far, or at least I am on the, the path of uh, I'm, I'm on a path for, for a successful career. So I, I think overall I'm doing all right. <laughs> I think so too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with, uh, you know, finding mentors. It's not always just about, you know, looking to them for advice, but almost sometimes kind of like a, an accountability partner, right? You know, checking in on you, you know, have you um, been working towards your goals and, and to kind of help keep you on that path. Because sometimes if you don't have that accountability partner, you just end up wandering around and, you know, oh, I forgot about that goal. But to have those, those steady people in your life to remind you, you know, you have these goals. Have they changed or have you, you know, continued to work towards them? So I think that's, that's very good. Um, thinking back now on, on your experiences at PFEW, what do you think was the most valuable lesson that you learned from PFEW? I mean, PFW is, uh, I mean, it, it's a great experience, um, and 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 not only, um, I mean, obviously, it's it's in many ways the first opportunity to be in something that semi resembles the business world, um, and semi resembles um, autonomy of um, you know having to get through a project and on on your own terms kind of thing. Um, but but really, uh, it I think one of the bigger ones it, it, it's again this this idea of relationships, but but also specifically it's kind of like it's this nebulous idea of office politics. Mm -hmm. um, and right. if if uh, someone tells you that office politics isn't a thing, then uh, they they're lying to you. <laughs> right. Um, it. Un being able to navigate office politics is a skill just like, uh, you know, just like being able to do your times tables or... <laughs> right. <laughs> so it, it's, it's a fundamental skill. And um, mm -hmm. uh, in, I mean, in, when I was in PFEW, I, I had the privilege of, of being CEO of my group. And, um, and believe me, a, a group of... Uh, um, a group of high schoolers trying trying to figure out how to run a company. Uh, mm. It the the office politics <laughs> full swing. <laughs> right, <laughs> for sure, for sure. So exactly. I mean, the the PFEW experience is more than just learning about you know the business aspect, you know finances and marketing, but you know you get to learn other. Uh, tools that will help you whether you you know you may say I'm not going to be in business I don't want to know about advertising but even just those those skills of learning how to work with other people is, is very crucial and um, so if you spend a week at PFEW <laughs> you'll learn that real quick right <laughs> yeah you have to yeah well thank you so much for joining me today Jeremy it's been a pleasure spending this time with you and I've really enjoyed hearing more about what it is you do and, and your pathway that have brought you to where you are today. Um, I'm sure there's others that will benefit from your insights that you shared with us. Yeah, thank you very much, Liz. Um, I mean, if there's anything I can, I can kind of wrap up with, it's, it's really this, I, I went into this almost thinking more about my, my career and what I do, but it, 
it really does boil down to the relationships you build along the line. And I've had I've had the privilege of, of having a great relationship with, with you guys on staff and uh, being able to work with you over the years. And you know, hopefully we'll be able to uh, to have the session, have the session next year and, and we'll see where the times take us. Yeah, we sure do. Well, thank you again. And finally, if you have any follow up questions for Jeremy or if you'd like to connect with him directly, his contact information will follow at the conclusion of this interview. Thanks for watching.